morning and today we are taking on Gardena. We are back with Pokemon Platinum and we're ready to go. So last time I did a bit of grinding, um, not for level but for Baneri. It has the Soothe Bell on it. Um, you'll see in a minute. I'm going to lead with Baneri as I fight this. Fight me. Okay, that was weird. I had to talk to you, but okay. Well, the gimmick of this gym is we have to fight them to get this clock to move, so I think we would have to talk to her anyway. Okay, so we have Forest. Um, yeah, Titania, as I've been mentioning in the past couple of episodes, she will be extremely useful here. It would be cool if we had a poison type move on Elise. That would at least help with some of the grass Pokemon. Okay, and that should be enough for a level up for Forest. Um, I'm just gonna switch out of the lead seed. Let's actually see if Tabarn can do anything with Pluck. Probably a bad idea. Yeah. get a level from it because his value is worth a lot. Yes, it will. But first, I ran around so much, I've maxed out Force's happiness. it's worth it to have return on Law Punny. Like I mentioned in like the first episode, we do get two return TMs. There is another Pokemon I want to use it on, but I can't remember how quickly we get the other return TM. Um, but Force is mostly just going to be an HM buddy regardless. And let's, we might as well check out Forest. Yes, Sexy Rabbit is a boy. And a beautiful boy. I feel like Lob Honey really would fit Forest. Well, let's see if Pound is more. I ain't even look. Yeah, we may have to go back and heal with the status problems that Badu and some of the other Pokemon may inflict. Yes, it's going to be boring. rate is at level like 22 maybe? I can't remember. I'm sure it's been changed since Diamond and Pearl. Usually in this game they tended to nerf things that were too powerful in the originals. And they'll probably be nerfed in the remakes as well. I mean with fairies around Garchomp shouldn't be as much of a threat later on. Thanks for the tip. I think there's only like three trainers in here. Oh, 
Looks like there can be like an item here. Alright, let's just switch forest out for now. And I think you're the last one. Yeah, another reason I wanted to get the Soothe Bell off of Force is because I'm going to need it very soon for another Pokemon we're getting. Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna be right back. I'll see you in a moment. And we're back, ready to take on Gardenia. So I've led with Ponyta, of course. Yes, we did keep you waiting. It's been a while since I've last recorded when we met you in front of the gym. Yeah, they're not shy about showing us the other starter Pokemon in this game. I think in Gen 3 with um, Hoenn and Kanto, they didn't really show off the other starters. But we have Turtwig. He dies easily. I like that, thanks, Cry. Um, yep, just keep flame wheeling. It might be interesting if she uses Sunny Day with this thing. Um, no. It'll get a form change, but that would boost us and she might not. Yeah, she's not going to go for it. Because it's ultimately going to buff fire types as well, so that would be a bad idea. Okay, we're at the same level. Good, I didn't want to be over-leveled. <sighs> She's probably going to spam her potion on this one, too. Or not, we can just crit you to death. That works, too. Okay, now we've got to start working on some of our other Pokémon. So the next gym isn't for a while. Um, we may have a Pokemon that can help us for that one, but um, we may want to also prevent Print Club from evolving before that. I don't think that should be too hard. It doesn't evolve until level 36. So yeah, now we have Cut and we can explore some other places. Around the Eternal Forest there was those cutting trees next to the forest as well as that house. Okay, cool. Alright, so first I'm going to go heal up, and now we can also get into this shop up at the top of Eterna City. Okay, so I've already taught Cut to Forest, so we don't need to reteach it. And I think there was an item behind here last time we explored the city. There might be one over here. And we have to go all the way around. Of course we do. like a suspicious area. That might be useful in finding something later. Um, later on in the game you do encounter wild chances, not too far from now, and you may be able to steal lucky egg off of them. Hello there. Ah yes, you're the officer we met back at the Windworks. It might not be a good idea to take off your disguise here. Um, right, let's go ahead and who 
who's our lowest level? Lise. In case there's any double bells, I don't want Forest out front. Yeah, I left a space open in the party because we are going to be getting a, um, receiving basically a gift. And I don't want to have to run back and do anything with the PC boxes. Okay, so I think the gimmick here is there are two ways to go. Of course we want to battle everyone. I don't remember which way is the right staircase. I'd imagine it's the ones where the grunts are, though. I don't see why it would not be. And we have a disadvantage. Yeah, back to Zubats and Glammeows and Stunkies. It's been a while since I've played this. I've been doing a lot with Radiant Dawn. Um, but I think you had a um, plus attack nature. If only we had aerial ace. Yeah, Rosalia not too good against these um, poison types with Team Galactic, but they mostly have. You did. Uh, another Zubat. Tired of using Bubble Beam. Let's try Metal Claw. Maybe we can get an attack boost. That'll be fun. Just spamming the same move over and over does get really boring to watch. Um, that's something Elise can't fight easier. We did evolve her to get Magic Leaf at level 19. Now, I haven't checked Roselia and Roserade's movesets yet, but I don't know if holding off the evolution would be better, but we're going to regardless because the shiny stone we're getting um, is not going to be here for a while, and this looks like the dead end, actually. Well, that's good. Usually in these types of games, I like going the wrong way first. Okay, and another thing I'm not good against. But Tabarn has a move that should help us out. If only we had a psychic type, he'd be quad weak. I was thinking of actually maybe using Glade or Gardevoir in this run, but I think I'm just going to save that for if we do um, Emerald or some hack of Emerald where Glade would be available. I generally try to use the same Pokémon within the region, but I don't care if they're not. I mean, ultimately Elise will be a Gen 4 Pokémon. Another one right after the staircase. That should be up this way. What does this say? Maybe the signs there are a hint. Okay, you just don't do anything. Um, alright, we'll bother these ladies here. It's probably the one with the sign on it now that I think about it. I've never noticed that, but we'll go the other way first. Just to double check. Okay, hey, luckily the girl grunts have glam meows for us to magical leaf. I think this is the game where there is a grunt later on who says something like, I'm the gruntiest of all the grunts, and I don't even have a Pokemon, so he, I think he's in the Veilstone building. 
Yes, this is the wrong way as expected. Good. I'm wondering if we have time in this episode to explore another area. There's, of course, those other areas we have to go back to. Now that I think about there were some cutting trees around Flora Roma Town as well. Smoke screened again. <sighs> nope. Another crow gunk. Oh, you have three. Most of them generally have about two, I find. Yeah, and you're anticipating pluck. Kind of like a giveaway, um, if you were, like, not knowing of what Krogunk is. The anticipation can give you a clue that you have something that can beat it. I guess helpful when a Pokémon is new to the series. Well, at least this is helping because the next Pokemon we have to fight, or rather the next major boss fight we're having coming up, um, the Pokemon has quite a dangerous move on it, so we do want to be prepared for that. I may just have the least stunts for it, just to be extra safe. And they are giving a decent amount of money. Okay, yeah, let's read what the other sign says. Probably that way, then. You are very different from everyone else here. A lot of the evil teams tend to have, like, a scientist in some of their labs. I know they did in Sylvco in um, Fire Red Leaf Green. And they do like to use either psychics or sometimes electrodes and magnetons. Um, you actually have a... You actually beat me with psychic. Next special is quite scary, and I don't have any physical attacking moves. I'm pretty sure Kadabra will outspeed me. Yeah, this could be bad. Oh boy. Oh, well, that was close. Um. Should we sack someone? Let's sack Forrest, why not? I could always sack um, Chadot. Yeah, I did replace Starly because Chadot can be our... Um, he can be our flyer if we need one. Okay, you actually lived. And there goes Forrest. I always let Jabarn get this. He's still behind Titania a little bit. Hopefully tank that a lot better than Zelia can. Cool. Let's see what is up here. We have some items, and yeah, looks like something going on right there. And that might be useful for the next battle, maybe. Okay. So I'm just going to heal up real quick and come back to this guy. Okay, and we're back. Taking on this guy. Or not, because he just speaks. Okay, so we, where we saw in that other room, we have this lady and this guy right here. Looks like she's trying to hold some Pokemon hostage. Uh, can we get this right now? We can. Um, I don't think we'll be using Porygon here, and of course we don't have anyone to trade him for. Okay, we do have Elise out front. I think she might lead with um, Zubat, just like the other one did back in Valley Windworks. We have another Galactic Commander here. So another boss. 
basically the counterpart to Mars we met back at the um, Windworks. And they are all named after planets because Galactic is that. They figured that makes sense. Um, actually, let's see if we can get the Metal Claw boost again. We did. It's always fun. Oh boy. Can we get it again? You know, if we do, I might heal up to barn. No, we don't. Um, yes, this Pokemon is the one that we do have to watch out for. Um, he's probably just going to kill me. Yeah, so he has Night Slash, and that move has a very high crit chance. Which is very bad for us. But I'm going to try and slow him down with Elise. Please don't get crit. Okay, good. I guess the best thing we can do is just heal up or try to anyway. Yeah, that's not going to do much. Okay, um... I don't think Force or Trap. Let's see what Trap can do. Might as well. That's going to be a rough one. Um... I mean, we could Growl. Get its attack down, that way the criticals won't be as brutal. Well, here's Chad. Oh, at least we're showing him off. Or her. I don't know if the in-game traded Pokemon do have anything that... Um, if their genders are always determined. Okay, let's look at just Flame Will and Stomp. Ow, really? Ugh. Okay. Yeah, we might have to revive someone. And you have a berry. Okay, I think I'm just going to revive Chitanya. I have no doubt that, like, fights like this are probably going to get nerfed in the, um, in the remake. Oh, uh, let's see. We have one revive. We can use it on Titania. Okay. We have super potions. Probably going to die as well. Um, guess we can go with cut. Hey, you lived. It's always funny when the opponent's Pokemon like does well when it's paralyzed. I feel like the AI is always against you sometimes. And let's bring back Chitanya. We should hopefully be able to kill you in two hits now, Flame Whale. Okay, finally. Yeah, they give you that revive for a reason. May need to find someone or put Earthquake on a Pokemon later to help us out with that. He is Poison Dark, so... No, I'm not wearing Fire Spin. He is Poison Dark, so Psychic won't work. Ground is the best option we would have. Or Steel. Once to Barn evolves, he should be a good matchup for that.
handed over, it came from space. Yeah, I guess anything with the moonstone might be associated with space. Uh, which way did we get out of here? Well, yeah, we're going to go heal up, and then we're going to see what he has in store for us. Well, it's pretty obvious. He has a, um... He owns a bicycle shop, and we just saved him, so I think we know what we're going to get from him. And we have to cut this tree down annoyingly enough again. Okay. Alright, let's find his shop. I believe it was just down here. And here comes someone else. Yes, we will accept it. Looks like more grinding for me. Before we get our bike, let's check out the egg and see if it's close to hatching. So yes, yeah, this is why we, um, occasionally. It's actually a good sign. And since it's a hatch Pokemon, it should have some friendliness towards us whenever we do get it. And hey, the bicycle as well. Neat. Yeah, so it's kind of a combination of the mock bike and the acro bike back in Gen 3. Yeah, where did the Baneri go? Interesting. Alright, so that will do it for this episode. I'm probably just going to run around with this egg for a little bit, and we may explore some parts in the other side before we got to Eterna City, so I'll see you then.